Welcome to America's Voice Live. I'm Steve Gruber. Today, Thursday, April the 25th. Let's get to the day's top stories. Thank you for joining us here again today. College graduations are coming soon, but what can we expect with some colleges still being sworn by anti-Israel protesters? Political columnist Angie Wong will join me to discuss the protests in just a short time here on the program. Also, in a shocker, the 2020 rape conviction of Harvey Weinstein has been overturned by New York's Court of Appeals. Yes, he will remain in prison due to a different conviction in 2022 of another rape that landed him 16 years in prison, but still uh, quite a stain on the court. And then later, parents and students protested outside of a North Philadelphia school district after a trans-identifying male student brutally beat a female student in the head during lunch. Even after they were warned of the incoming attack, they didn't care. They didn't protect the other student from the trans student. What's going on in America? We'll get to all of that. But first, justice in America. Really, that's all most people are looking for today, justice. Most Americans want the government to not trample on our rights, to live free and have the opportunity to make the best out of our lives that we can. And for justice to be done to those that harm us or others or our country. But in order to have real justice, you need truth. Truth. That's something you just don't see in America much these days. You see, the political class has decided the truth. It's just too harmful to their vision for the country. Just remember that the CEO of a news organization, NPR, which is run by the government and paid for by you, said this about truth. Listen. That perhaps for our most tricky disagreements, seeking the truth and seeking to convince others of the truth might not be the right place to start. In fact, our reverence for the truth might be a distraction that's getting in the way of finding common ground and getting things done. Really, the truth is the problem to these people you see. It's definitely a problem to Joe Biden because if people in the media were willing to tell the truth, there's no way Joe Biden should even come close to winning the presidential election this year. Furthermore, truth be told, shouldn't be the president today. That's a fact. We also all know what the legal warfare against President Trump is. It's complete nonsense, totally directed by Joe Biden, the White House, and the DOJ. Listen to this. Matthew Colangelo, who used to be the number three under Merrick Garland at the Department of Justice. He left that cushy job at the Department of Justice to go be a line prosecutor in a, in a city office, that shows how coordinated this is. It's not just him. In fact, there was a law firm here in New York City that's known as a Democrat law firm that, that handed over a few of its attorneys to help bring charges against Donald Trump. This is part of a widespread and coordinated effort, and I think everyone kind of knows it. But the media continue to say that Joe Biden's White House or Department of Justice has nothing at all to do with these Trump trials even though we all know the DOJ spied on Trump's campaign in 2016 and into his presidency and maybe even till today. But they still continue to deny it. He said this case is all Biden. There is zero, precisely zero evidence that President Biden had anything to do with uh, bringing, orchestrating, running uh, this case. Uh, so he says that pretty much every time. It's completely out of thin air. <laughs> yeah, of course, now the state of Arizona Another state run by Democrats at the top of government has gotten into the fray. They, they have indicted a few Trump allies like Mark Meadows, Rudy Giuliani, to name a couple, for what they say was an effort to subvert the 2020 election. But the message is clear. The Democrats are saying you better not question the results of any election. You can only do that if a Democrat loses because something tells me if Biden loses in, in this year's election, well... They won't hesitate to scream it was stolen and drag it all into court. Anyway, Arizona's Attorney General Chris Mays put it this way. But as I have stated before and will say here again today, I will not allow American democracy to be undermined. It's too important. The investigators and attorneys assigned to this case took the necessary time to thoroughly piece together the details of the events that began nearly four years ago. They followed the facts where they led, and I'm very proud of the work they've done to date. 
We're here because justice demands an answer to the efforts that the defendants and other unindicted co-conspirators allegedly took to undermine the will of Arizona's voters during the 2020 presidential election. You see, they're just fighting for democracy by making sure you keep quiet. Because in order to keep our democracy, sometimes the truth, it just can't be said. No matter how hard they try to hide President Biden, they can't stop him from saying things, well, things like this. We're ready to move forward, not back. Are you ready to choose unity over division, dignity over hate, truth over lies? Are you ready to choose freedom over democracy for democracy? Yes, choose freedom over democracy. The man is unwell. Everyone can see that here, across the country, and around the world. Now the problem for Democrats is that the truth isn't something you can change. It's not something you can mold to fit your own narrative. The truth is the truth. It is immutable. It would exist if humans were here or not. And for every force on earth that has ever wanted to create and maintain a tyranny, well, that's a big problem. And that's why you are seeing the left target America's youth tell them that the First Amendment is dangerous, that speech is violence. Because the First Amendment of the United States Constitution, the freedom of speech, is the one thing standing in their way of stamping out the truth altogether, which is really what they want. And that is triggering protests all across the nation right now on various college campuses. You've seen it for days now, from Columbia to Michigan to the University of Southern California. Because somehow America's youth has been brainwashed with the idea that the only important thing about the world is that it is split between victims and villains. That America has a terribly even racist past that cannot ever be overcome, still keeping minorities down in this country, they claim. And they've been told to think that about Israel and Palestine as well. How the Palestinians are the brown oppressed people against their evil white oppressors. That's what they've been told, those evil white Jewish oppressors. This is the strategy of the left. It's what they're using ultimately to try and undo the First Amendment. But these are the people who are actually showing up to the protests. Who are they? What do they have to say? Roll the tape. And what would you say is the main goal with tonight's uh, protest? I think the goal is just showing our support for Palestine and demanding that NYU stops. I honestly don't know okay. all of what NYU's doing. Is there something that NYU's doing? I really don't oh. know. I'm pretty sure they're... Do okay. you know what NYU's doing? Oh, about what? About Israel. Why what? are we protesting here? Uh, yeah. Palestine will be free! I wish I was more educated. I'm not either. Oh. I, came from, I came from Columbia. I was there up at Columbia and we came down. They said NYU students needed our support. Don't worry, ladies. We wish you were more educated, too. On that, we agree. They have no idea why they're there. They don't even know what they're protesting about and what is frightening is that the left has indoctrinated these kids so much, they'll just show up to protest whatever they're told to. Regardless of whether they know what's going on, understand any of it, which clearly many of them do not. But ultimately, the truth wins out, especially in a country that has a First Amendment like ours. And there's nobody else that has a First Amendment like ours. We are the purveyors of truth. And that was extremely important to our founding fathers, and for good reason. We're seeing why now, and we're seeing the truth begin to win out as the victim versus villain narrative begins crumbling in the very communities the Democrats are trying to use to maintain power. Listen to this. I'm, I want to talk to my people. They messed us up. They got black folk mad with America. I can't do anything. I'm a black man living in America. Well, I'll tell you what, that Hispanic man knows he can do something in America. All the other men, they're, they're, they're doing everything they can to get in because they know that if you can just get in by hook or by crook, legally or illegally, if I can just get in, I can have a better life. But wicked people have convinced those of us who were born here, you can't have nothing. You can't be nothing. Everybody's against you. You can't get anywhere. And then once, 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 once you buy that, all you're ready, all you're fitted for now is an orange jumpsuit. 
You, you won't apply yourself. You, you won't see what's there because they filled you with anger and resentment and they make you think that everybody whose color is different from yours are out to get you. Isn't that just a great sermon and a timely sermon and one we need right now? They don't say the truth shall set you free for nothing. It is spreading throughout the land this land we call America. Here's more. How was it seeing the, the former president? Oh, it's absolutely incredible to see him on the streets of Manhattan, uh, meeting up with, you know, your your working class folks here, the type that are out uh, working hard at 6 a.m. Uh, it was my first time ever meeting ever meeting him, and uh, it was it was uh, really uh, really dope. So, what's your message to Joe Biden? Uh, my message to Joe Biden: uh, I haven't seen you anywhere. I hope New York turns red because we're not voting for you. By the way, that was live this morning on Real America's Voice. We kicked off the day with the Donald Trump stop here on the Steve Gruber Show. The Democrats trying to destroy the truth. That man knows it. You know it. They're trying to tell America that the truth can be whatever you want it to be, all while saying they are the ones fighting for justice. But what you must understand is that you cannot have true justice without the truth, a foundation of truth. Please remember that. America must remember that. And remember how blessed we are to have the First Amendment. It was worth fighting for then, and it's worth fighting for right now, too. Don't ever forget that.